What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Saturday and that means it's time for another episode of What's New for Blue where I inform you of a brand new movie titles that are going to be available in store and also online. So this coming Tuesday is the very last Tuesday of January and we're not getting a ton of brand new releases you have to have which is always a good thing but there's a lot of quality releases, interesting titles that are coming out this coming week. So let's start off with Dawn of the Dead on 4K, I believe coming to us from Scream Factory. So I'm definitely going for this title for two reasons. Number one, I really enjoyed the movie. Second reason, I am in process of collecting all of the 4K upgrades from Scream Factory with the very nice slipcovers. So I believe this title will be in my Best Buy on Tuesday and I'm looking forward to picking it up. Next up on the list is Bones and All on Blu-ray. This one's interesting. Apparently it's a cannibal love story. Now this is one I wanted to go and see in theater, but unfortunately I just never got the chance. I just never got around to going. I don't believe this Blu-ray has a slip cover. However, I'm not planning on picking up a bunch of titles on this day. So maybe I'll just go ahead and pick up this one, even though there is no slipcover. Usually with the no slipcover situation with brand new releases, I've been waiting for a sale, but I kind of just want this one for some reason. So I think I'm going to break my own rule and just go ahead and pick it up. Next up on the list is the Italian Job 4K from Kino Lorber and also Young Sherlock Holmes Blu-ray Steelbook. Now when it comes to the Sherlock Holmes Steelbook, I gotta be honest, I'm not really interested. I've never really been into Sherlock Holmes for some reason, except if it's Robert Downey Jr., <laughs> then I'll watch Sherlock Holmes. But any other interpretation, I'm just not a fan. So I don't think this one is going to be for me. I'll bypass on that title, save a little bit of money. The Italian Job on 4K from Kino Lorber. I was not planning on picking up this title. However, people were commenting I should give it a chance. So what I will do, I'm going to wait for the Kino Lorber sale. <laughs> I'm going to wait for the Kino Lorber sale because those 4Ks are going to go down in price eventually. And usually I get them with the slipcover. So I will wait for the future sale. Moving on next to Event Horizon on 4K and also Crimes of the Future on 4K. Now when it comes to Crimes of the Future, this movie it just seems a little bit weird. The Blu-ray came out, I want to say about six months ago. It's one of those cases, the Blu-ray came out first and then we're getting the 4K later. Ask, I Don't ask me. I have no, no idea why they're doing this. But I'm not interested in this movie. It just seems very weird, very out there. I've heard the plot line. If I do ever want to watch this, I'll probably just stream it. It seems like a one-time watch for me. So I'm not going to invest my money and pick up the 4K. Event Horizon, however, I'm going to think about picking up. I was going to go for the Steelbook, but the Steelbook never came out in stores for some reason. And I just never bought it. I never picked it up. I never ordered it from Best Buy or anyone else. I may just pick up the 4K, depending, or 4K slipcover. Depending on the price point, you know how it goes. You got to think about things, what I have in my hand, what else is coming out that day. So Event Horizon is a possibility. Moving on next down the list to some Vinegar Syndrome. Now with Vinegar Syndrome, there's a lot of brand new titles being released this coming Tuesday. I don't think I've seen so many Vinegar Syndrome titles come out on the same exact day. I'm going to highlight two that I actually pre-ordered that are currently being shipped to me right now. But if you want to know about any other Vinegar Syndrome titles that are coming out on Tuesday, just simply go to Blu-ray.com. There's about 20. There's so many. I just do not have time to list all of them here for you. But the highlights that I'm going to mention right now are Sidekicks on 4K and Roadhouse on 4K. Now, Roadhouse is obviously a re-release, I guess, because the original run of this film came out a few months ago back in 2022. I know a lot of people pick this as their number one 4K of the year. It's in a very nice box set. So when it came up for ordering again, I did it. I hit the button and I pre-ordered it because I don't want to miss out on that one. And then Sidekicks, they announced that one at the beginning of the brand new year. And I know a lot of people were excited. 
I personally have nostalgia with this movie, so I knew I definitely wanted to pick it up. So I pre-ordered Sidekicks and Roadhouse. I got the notification. It's being shipped right now. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I will do an unboxing for you guys and you could see it kind of in person, at least on camera. All right. And the last brand new release is our Criterion of the Week. And our Criterion of the Week is Bergman Island on Blu-ray. This is a title I've never heard of, but you know me. I sound repetitive th with this every single week, but with Criterions, I just wait for the sale. I can always wait for the sale. Criterions, that's the beauty about Criterions. You don't have to worry about slipcovers. You don't have to worry about them going out of stock. You can always order them online or usually find what you want in the store. So if I ever want this in the future, I'm sure it will be there. But for right now, I'm good. So now we're going to get into those titles that you may find on DVD format in Walmart or online only. And they are Tiger 24, Cloudy Mountain, and Office. There's also Satan's Menagerie. Lieutenant Jangles, and also Dressed in Blue. Next up is Death Magic and Big Night, finally ending with Solomon King and Crypt of the Vampire. So those are the brand new releases coming out this coming Tuesday. Let me know, let me know down below what do you plan on targeting. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next time.